And here we go, Chris here at Sulphur Tools, back with a second part of Hollywood Movie Studio. Let's jump in. Okay, I am so excited. We've got our first movie released right now, Summer Lover. It was that live-action cop movie with Jodie Foster, Renee Zellweger, Jet Li Ryder, Patrick Killing Todd. Let's see how it does. Uh, oh, we, look at that. Our worldwide gross, 169, actually beat out our total expenditure of 148 this movie somehow made money we made 57 million dollars how about that that's pretty good I thought that was a guaranteed money loser but we made money our our next movie oh dead man the love story this this one it was a love story comedy we're releasing it on Valentine's Day let's see how that goes Oh, look, it's, it's making money. Oh, look at that. We're going to break 300 million. We're, we doubled it. 309 over 144. We doubled it. Huge money maker right there for Dead Man. 324 million when you add all of our other profits in. That's pretty good. Okay, next up, my, my original idea, I Love My Boyfriend, with a bunch of cast members I don't know. And, who, and it was directed by Shane Black, who I also don't know. Nonetheless, it's a romance teen movie. Well, let's see how it does. Oh, look at that. Kids are going crazy over this. All the kids are coming to flock to see it. $359 million on a $132 million budget. Hell yeah. $330 million profit. That's awesome. Okay, May is the Great Emu War. Not, not a great cast, but uh, nonetheless, Ron Howard directed it. Here we go. Great, great Emu War. This one could be a money loser. Oh no, we need money on this. Okay, not a lot, but we made enough money. 200 million over the 129. We'll take it. The Understudy Swan Song. This is this is gonna be an inter interesting one. I don't I don't think it's gonna do good. I'm not a fan of the cast too much. I mean I like Kristen Ritter. She was in the in the in the, in the show with the Brian Cranston. But uh Man, here we go. She did good. She got four stars for her performance, so I gotta, gotta give her props for that. Oh boy. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, we're making money. Wow, okay, never mind. I'm, I'm wrong. This did a lot of money. S what are, are we gonna hit 650? No, $642 million over the $223 million budget. Crest and Ritter's now a movie star, ladies and gentlemen. $539 million total in profit. Oh baby, that's pretty good. This is where we're getting a little bit worried now. I mean, man, after that last one, now I've got Glue Man. Oh boy, I really hope Glue Man pulls it through. Oh, Glue, Glue Man's looking good. Glue Man's looking great. Glue Man's gonna break 500,000. Glue Man broke 600,000. Cool and broke 650, or and I'm saying thousands, it's millions. I hope I haven't been saying thousands this whole time. 650 million over 258. Colin Morgan, Ruby Rose, thank you very much for making Glue Man a success. It shows that anyone will go see superhero movies. September comes, we've got Cruise Ship, that uh, erotic thriller movie with Kit Harrington and Emma Stone. And So, let's see how this one goes. Captain pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh wow, it's, it made money. I did not think this would make money. It made a lot of money. I'm happy. Wow. How about that? Okay, no lifeguards on duty. There's no way this one's making money. Lady Gaga is a stalker. Eh, it's only 118 million. There's a chance. Oh no, it, it bombed. It did 41 million. Eh, I think we saw that one coming. 41 million, oh, that was a loss, but uh, oh well. Space Freaks, the Quentin Tarantino drama tearjerker comedy with Lawrence Fishburne, Nicole Kimmon, and Nicolas Cage. Let's see how this one does. Had a $232 million budget, but actually, Quentin, Lawrence, Nicole, and Nicholas all got five stars. As did the producer, so this might actually work out. No. It didn't, it didn't do as bad as I thought, but it didn't do it didn't do good. This is it. What we've all been waiting for. 
It's the Bible, the movie. We have, uh, directed by Michael Bay. Elijah Wood is Jesus. Peter is Jesse Eisenberg. Satan, Eddie Murphy. God, Pierce Brosnan. Mary, Hilary Swank. Adam, Robert Pattinson. Eve, Margot Robbie. Noah, Peter Dinklage. Moses, Jackie Chan. And Lindsay Lohan as the angel. This is going to be the biggest movie. I, I believe we have a $328 million budget. Here we go. Um, oh, no, no one even got five stars in their uh, actual acting. As a matter of fact, Jackie Chan got three stars, as did our lead, Elijah Wood as Jesus, got three stars. Um, okay, but Michael Bay got four. $324 million. Let's see if we can do this. It's all, we're relying on America. Oh, that's a bad, oh, oh, that's a bad sign. Oh, well, America sort of pulled their weight, but the rest of the world didn't, which is a little bit sad. But still, with, with DVD sales and crap like that, we still made $29 million here at the bottom. So, just, just, so, just goes to show that people love the Bible. And unfortunately, that's the end of our award season. We're still going to have to release Abraham Lincoln in March. Okay, so the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. Let's see how this one does. $225 million budget for this anime. We might sort of break even once we get everything else in. Yeah, we made $13 million, so pretty much breaking even, basically. So, we knew that was going to happen. But here we go. Here's the awards. Uh, so, the awards are going to sound off. We don't care about screenplays and adaptations. That stuff's boring. We also don't care about supporting actors because none of my people were in it. Okay, uh, Michelle got it. Who cares? Christian Bale is unfairly getting two nominations. That's really not fair at all. Come on, Nicolas Cage. Ah, uh, Eddie Horton. Come on, Jodie Foster. Come on, or no, wait. Yeah, Jodie Foster and Nicole Kidman are mine. Uh, all right, Jodie Foster got it. Best actress. That's that's one of mine. That's one of mine. Uh, and we want Lawrence Fishburne up there to get it. Come on, Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, Space Freaks. Great movie. Uh, I don't think Michael Bay is going to get this. I think Quentin Tarantino is the favorite to win this one. I think that's who we're going to see win. Oh, Ridley Scott with Spongy Man. Wow. And the best picture goes to... Space Freaks. That's me. All right. Space Freaks was the best movie. And there we go. At the end of the day, I made... I got up to 6.7 million. I think I started at like 4... Excuse me, 6.7 billion. I think I started at 4 or 5 billion. So, not not that bad of a, of a movie studio day. Yeah, so Glue Man turned out to be the number one um, box office movie, and No Lifeguard on Duty turned out to be the worst. So, And look at that cr cruise ship. I thought that was going to be a complete failure, but that came up at number three. So, way to go cruise ship, and way to go I Love My Boyfriend coming in at number four. But nonetheless, there we go. Hollywood Movie Studio. I made money. I made stars. And now I'm famous. What is better than an all text based video? How about two all text based videos? You can see the prequel to this gameplay in my last video.